now on stage, Tom Haag, yeah, my colleague from the Netherlands. Yeah, I'm, I have to thank you for your coming and I'm waiting for a very interesting input, artificial intelligence and human resource management. Okay. <laughs> I've prepared a 10 minute presentation, so, <laughs> but luckily you uh, have many questions now. Uh, I, I want to, to start with a little uh, uh, test, uh, product test. Uh, do you know the sink? No? Okay, well, I, I, it was, I, I didn't buy the sink, but I bought the, the it's called the uh, Elf Emmet. Uh, it's a very nice uh, product. I, I don't have any interest in the Elf Emmet. I don't sell them. But it's, it's a little device. And uh, I, uh, it, it costs, I think, about 100 uh, euros. So it's not, not cheap. The, the, the sink is, is 199. But it, it basically does the same. So you put it on your head, yeah, like this. Yeah, like this, and then uh, you plug it into your uh, phone. Uh, I have an iPhone 7, so then you have, unfortunately, you have to, it comes with the old uh, connection. But that will change, luckily. Then I go to the Elf Emmet uh, uh, app. Yeah, there's the Elf Emmet uh, uh, app. And I choose a program, so watch out. Eh? There we go. And I put it on happy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And uh, then I stop it and I'm back in my normal uh, uh, mode. So uh, uh, this is product number one. Yeah. It's the sink or the elf emmet, but it's a device that can influence your emotions quite uh, directly. And to be honest, uh, this, this version doesn't have happy. Unfortunately, so I can choose here. I, I, I want to be fair to the product between improve sleep, deepen meditation, reduce stress, improve focus, and fast learning. So, but uh, you, you, you get the point. Influencing emotions, and it's not fake. Yeah, it's, it's not fake. This is a real device, uh, 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 and these things work. So, the second. And I'll put it off now because I'm happy by nature, so uh, I don't need uh, the device. Uh, the second one is Keen Corp. I might already have uh, mentioned it last year when I, when I gave my presentation. Keen Corp is, is a, an organization, you give them access to the email in your organization, yeah? So you give them access, and then uh, after a while, maybe a couple of hours, they start feeding you back uh, real-time mood measurement. And they said, hey, today sales looks good, yeah? And uh, on the other side, they will say manufacturing, I don't know, manufacturing is maybe not a good example. They won't use a lot of email, but uh, let's say uh, the marketing or the HR department, they are a little bit. So real-time mood measurement uh, via uh, 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 email. And, and I know I'm in Germany, but let's not go into the, the privacy type of uh, discussions. Uh, I hope we can avoid that. So uh, question to you. One, influencing emotions via device, which is nice, and then, then HR, you can give those people a device, all your employees, and well, that your work is done. Secondly, King Corp, real-time emotion. Uh, talk to your neighbor for a half a minute, a minute. What do you think? Would you, would you buy them, would you use them in your organization? Can I get the microphone? Can I, can I, it's on? Okay. Shh. So, number one, the sink, the elf Emmet. Who sinks? Sinks. That's nice. I would like that. I buy 100. 
You like 100? Yes, please. No. You, you, you're, you have 100 uh, people in your organization? There was one in the back. You can't order them with me. Who was it, was it here? Yeah. Yeah, I could imagine using it on s uh, s ex explicit um, occasions, for example, like the annual, I don't know, um, the weekly meeting or something. Yeah, yeah. And to see how are they, f how feel, do they feel during the weekly sprint meeting or something. Okay, but it, it, it doesn't, uh, uh, the, the, the King Corp or the Sync? The Sync does not tell you how, if you people wear it, it doesn't give signals to other how you feel. You understand? It helps you to feel happy, but it doesn't say, oh, okay, we track Tom how happy he is. That doesn't, so that might be another product, but uh, 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 that's not the idea. We, we, we will show some later. Anybody else on the, on the device? Who thinks, well, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Huh? Yeah, yeah. How about you? Give the microphone to the lady. You were saying, no, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Not sure. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. I'm a bit scared. A bit scared, yeah. That's, that, that, can I get, yeah. <laughs> and there, there's, of course, if, if you, uh, I can use my own microphone. If you ask people, would you, can organizations give those to this, this device to their employees mandatory? Eh? You, uh, you, you are hired, you get your device, and there you go. Of course, that, you cannot do that. But. Well, one of the big trends at this moment uh, is the, the English term, I don't know what it is in German, is the consumerization of HR. Uh, people have these devices, if they work, they will start get, uh, taking them to their work. Uh, because 60, 70 percent of the people of the people still don't like very much working. Uh, so 60, 70 percent of people say, well, do you like work? They say, well, okay. Uh, but if they have a device which can make it more bearable, they will uh, uh, probably take it to work. So that, that's probably number, number two, Keen Corp. Analyzing emails uh, to get real time uh, mood measurement. Is anybody using it in the audience? No? Is anybody using any form of real time mood measurement? Okay. So would you like this? Who? There's a, a man here with a blue, I, I don't know your name, so he's, he's nodding no. Ich würde das nicht uh, anwenden, wenn ich weiß, was in meinem Betrieb los ist, dann brauche ich das nicht. Okay, yeah. so if you know what is happening, but, but unfortunately uh, you're probably one of the exceptions, because uh, 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 in most organizations that's not the case. Eh? People have no clue. What, what about you? We need a microphone because I think there's people in another room. I know uh, many HR person who would like to use it, but uh, when they talk to their management, they don't. The management don't want it because you know they, they say, okay, if we if we know the mood of the company of the people, so we have to change something that we don't want to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But th th it's interesting that uh, uh, who of you uh, uh, in, in organizations use surveys to, to, to monitor uh, how people feel? It's just well, eh? once a year. Yeah, once a year. And, 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 and I'm with you because that's generally a process which is harmless. Yeah? You do the survey, it takes months for, to analyze it, later there's the, the results, and then if they are bad, you say, yeah, that was six months ago. <laughs> yeah? But in the meantime, we have changed dramatically. So, uh, so thank you for participating in this uh, this so my name is tom haak i'm uh, uh by 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 not by i was not born as an hr manager but uh, uh, uh at some time i became an hr professional when i was uh, 25 when i f finished my studies i'm a psychologist an industrial psychologist and i worked for for various companies you can see them there uh m mainly multinational uh, type of companies and in 2014, I uh, transformed myself, I tried to transform myself into a trend watcher. So that's what, what, what I've done the last uh, years. So today, with people in the HR Trend Institute, we are watching trends and talking about it. And, and, and hopefully inspiring people, uh, uh, hoping that people will use the trends. Uh, because one thing I learned in the past uh, m m years, that generally HR, the HR community is quite slow 
in adapting and using the opportunities that there are. So hopefully after today, and and you will find uh, 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 about probably 20% of my slides also were in the former presentation. So I will skip them partly, but it reinforces also the message as some things are really popping up and visible uh, anywhere. But first, um, I'm always, I like to challenge myself a little bit, so I, I thought about the title first, and then a little bit too late I started saying, well, this is the title, Artificial Intelligence and HR, and I think it was Opportunity or Threat, and Peter likes those type of uh, And so, uh, th then I thought, yeah, I, I'm in, in a university as well, so talking about Artificial Intelligence, what is Artificial Intelligence, yeah? And uh, th th so th this was last week, uh, this, this week Thursday. <laughs> so I said, well, what is AI? And in, in my studies, and I finished, I, I, I graduated in 1981. Yeah? In 1981. And one of my last projects was working on an artificial intelligence project. So uh, 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 it, it's not new. Right? At that time, it was really a hype. We didn't, ha we didn't have laptops, so we, we had to work. Uh, 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 let's say with, with big uh, mainframe computers at the university and, and my assignment was uh, around uh, neural uh, programming a neural network so we had a network with with 100 nodes and I had to make sure that that kind of simulated the human brain well it was it was mission impossible <laughs> <laughs> and and most of that project was spent in the in the in the in the center with the with the computer but so it is not, and, and I found two books in my library. Uh, one was What Computers Can't Do, and the Limits of Artificial Intelligence. This is 1979 or something. And uh, the other one is, is Artificial Intelligence and Natural Man. Quite a nice uh, book. But the main message of that book is also one of the main messages. And Joachim said that that's the message. Also today, uh, it's not about men against or men women against machine but it's how, how together they can do a lot of good things and I think uh, that's also the, the, the conclusion of my uh, presentation so I, I started looking and then you get all these type of pictures yeah so artificial intelligence it's, it's apparently bigger than machine learning deep learning big data uh, this is only uh, one example then then so oh, this is even more complicated huh? Uh, trying to explain all the all the, all the, the connections, I uh, liked uh, this one as well. Uh, uh, this one, <laughs> I don't know. I, they put a kind of I couldn't. And there's a flow, and it got, well, it, 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 uh, I was lost. Huh? This is uh, after. Then there were some some definitions, but then it said, yeah, artificial intelligence. It's about artificial narrow intelligence, it's about uh, artificial general intelligence, and then, and it's interesting that they made this a little a devil, eh? you see the devil here, it's about, uh, they call it artificial super intelligence, that's the intelligence that can really, that that's, comes after mankind basically, you, you know that discussion at the moment, we will transform into artificial super intelligence. Uh, so I'll skip a few here. This was not so bad a picture. Uh, uh, seven levels of, of artificial uh, intelligence uh, uh, maturity. And you can read it for your, yourself. But th that's, th that picture has the element of learning. So a lot of it ha is, has to do with learning. Can machines learn? And then maybe can they become better than uh, than uh, than men? And here you see uh, uh, the, the time frame. Uh, so so this is when I when, when I did my thesis, the end of the 19, uh, end of the 70s. That was the, the early ar artificial intelligence stirs excitement. So there was already since the 50s excitement. Then it became more serious machine learning, and today it's more about deep learning. And, uh, but then again, then you, you ask what is exactly the difference between deep learning and artificial intelligence. I cannot tell you, but I like this heading, artificial intelligence has become meaningless. And that's, uh, if you go through all the products, I, I, I review a lot of products, there's in, in the HR tech field, 
there are not many products that don't say artificial intelligence powered or with the help of artifi artificial intelligence. <laughs> and it has become useless. It's basically a label saying we do intelligent things or we try to do intelligent things uh, using a computer. So, so much for the theory. Uh, before I dive into uh, 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 some of the examples, some general observations. This one I already said. Uh, not so much man versus machine, but man and machine, man women. Uh, another phenomenon which is important to take into account and which we, we, we have to deal with is that is algorithm aversion. I'm sure you have heard of it. And the algorithm aversion is basically that people kind of distrust algorithms. One side is they overestimate their own capabilities. Right? People overestimate their own capabilities and they are very harsh for machines. I don't know how it is in Germany, but in the Netherlands, if there is an accident with a Tesla, well, it's in the newspapers. You say, ah, oh, you see it, self-driving, it can't work, there's an accident with a the Tesla. There are accidents every day. Uh, but if it's with a Tesla, then it is, so people are harsh on Teslas. They don't say, uh, 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 so they, in the selection area, it was already discussed, people overestimate, we know many people overestimate their own capabilities as selectors. And uh, you know all those managers say, well, you know, I, I'm very good, I know exactly when I, that's not true, we know it's not true. So with the help of good selection mechanisms, uh, they can become better. But then the question is, uh, uh, do they trust the data coming out of those, those uh, uh, and uh, I don't know, this, what, it's, 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 uh, it's nice to think about solutions, and one of the solutions is, in the selection example, let the machine do all the work, and then you present four candidates to the managers, and if all those four candidates are good, it doesn't matter what he or she decides. Eh? So then you can give the impression that he or she, oh, I make my choice and I see, but they're all four good. Yeah. So, uh, so making it, hit, do it in a hidden way, that's one of the solutions. But it's not unimportant, uh, algorithm error. So what I uh, uh, pictured here, I did it myself, so it's not graphically not uh, super fantastic, uh, but it's, it's the employee journey, yeah? From the employee journey you start and then you, you, you travel through a company and at some time uh, 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 you exit. I think there's, here's a black flag with uh, uh, the background. <laughs> it falls. So it's, it's your journey and uh, 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 on your journey, uh, you see all those elements. So it starts always with exploration, of course, recruitment, selection. So you see all the chapters in the HR handbook. It's interesting to see that many developments, and we saw it in the first presentation, many developments tend to be in, in, in the initial phases. Right? So many HR tech uh, uh, initiatives are in the recruitment uh, uh, domain, uh, but uh, the other domains are still a little bit under uh, undervalued. I, I, my explanation partly is that uh, one, everybody understands recruitment, yeah, uh, and recruitment is always a high priority. So there's no discussion. If we say we need 100 people, then can, can we get them fast? While, for example, let's take an other domain, uh, talent management. Talent management is typically an area where all organizations, uh, talent management is super important in our organization, high priority, but the reality is it's not. Eh? So uh, they say it and everybody adheres to it, but the reality is it's not urgent, it's not a really high priority. So, uh, and it's always about the future. Uh, we, we talked about workforce planning, workforce planning is another area. What type of people do we need in the future? Well. It's not urgent, today. Uh, today is the question, uh, uh, who do we, and uh, we, we have a vacancy and we need to fill it. But that's super important as well. That's why although uh, HR tech, if, if, if you're in HR tech initiatives, you better start in the recruitment area, selection area. Don't do coaching apps and, and talent uh, because that's generally they are not very successful. Um, so what I will do, uh, I will show you some examples of, of, of what I see in the use of artificial intelligence and uh, some of the examples you will have seen uh, this morning. So uh, 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 apologies for that. 
uh, but we didn't synchronize our presentations. Um, sourcing. Hey. AI can do many things. Eh? So uh, these, these are five points. Of course, uh, job candidate matching can be, done, uh, can be done a lot better with the help of the machine. Uh, proactive communication, we have seen that already. Really going to applicants in an early stage, that can be done a lot better. If you, because as an individual, you cannot do that. Uh, but with, with the machine, you can detect people who might be interested in your uh, 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 opportunity. Increasing speed. Uh, even only by using chatbots, uh, chatbots that are 24-7 available, you can increase the speed because people can ask questions uh, 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 all the time instead of uh, uh, only when your service desk is, uh, is open. And uh, uh, I will show some examples. Uh, but the, the chatbot developments are quite fast. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, if you go to Facebook, if you go to Slack, uh, uh, and you ask a question, uh, uh, many larger uh, organizations, also in Germany, they are using uh, chatbots for the initial contact with applicants, as, as Siemens, uh, Deutsche Telekom, and others as well. Uh, better sourcing capabilities uh, 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 and reducing the hiring bias. So we, we talk, we come back to the bias of machines, but generally the bias of humans is a lot bigger. Yeah? So uh, uh, overcoming bias, in, 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 in the recruiting process, that's a, a lot, but very powerful uh, by using uh, an older, this is a little bit more complicated to explain, but the, 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 the re recruitment is changing quite rapidly. And the traditional recruitment process is this. Uh, you have an organization and in the organization you have jobs and then at a certain moment there's a hole and you have to fill that hole. But not many or and more and more not, and still and more and more organizations are not organized in that way and so it's not about jobs it's about capabilities it's about skills it's about uh, uh, a culture fit that at the moment that you have something to do you have easy access to those uh, uh, capabilities and those people Th this makes the recruitment process more complicated because you can't say I'm looking for this and many of the examples also we saw this morning are still based on the job as the the building block and and that's evaporating and uh, so we have to find new ways especially to make the match between what is available uh, as capabilities and how do we make the match with the job at hand and that's also not limited as, as you know uh, uh, to the people on the payroll or the people in your organization because uh, as, as I have something to do I would also like to incorporate people uh, uh, outside my organization who can, uh, can help there and while this com process is more complicated therefore uh, uh, artificial intelligence also will help to do that uh, and you have to create communities of people who are potentially uh, 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 good candidates for your organization and uh, so the whole area of community building creating fan clubs around your organizations of people who at a certain moment in time might be useful for you that's at this moment good business and organizations who do that as Zappos is doing that there are also organizations who can help you to do that like magnet.me but there are many others who can, uh, can do that is the English okay for you? Yeah? yeah? Uh, I, I, I maybe tend to talk a little bit too fast now and then because I only have 20 minutes. Uh, I mean, this, this one was shown at, uh, at, uh, uh, this morning, so I think Textio, Textio.com, very simple, powerful tool. You throw your job advertisement in Textio and it gives you advice on how to improve your job advertisement. I think only in English at this moment, but uh, you can't read it, but this is a job advertisement I put in the machine. And it, for example, it says, well, Tom, it's okay. I was above average, probably everybody is above average, otherwise you won't use the machine anymore. But, uh, it, but it says you, the tone of your advertisement is, is very male. So if you want to attract females, you better change some things. And it gives advice uh, which words uh, uh, I, I should change to make the text more uh, uh, gender uh, uh, neutral. Powerful tool, text analysis, then you can have the discussion 
and apparently and the words managing ambitious are blue because they are too male and then you say well, hey, well, is, that, uh, is that true uh, but so that uh, 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 but it helps simple tool available textio uh, well there's a whole area and, and you, sh you, sh you, you saw some examples uh, 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 this morning, but basically that area is around, we know roughly what we are looking for, not because we have discussed it and made a list, but because we have looked at what successful people, how they are behaving in our organization. So let's say, uh, example, booking.com. Booking.com, uh, uh, are they active in uh, Germany? Yeah, you book yeah, hotels, yeah. booking.com. Uh, and they basically, they, they, you can, you can, they have two groups of people, uh, software developers who make the website better all the time and customer service uh, people because still sometimes it goes wrong. Hey, you arrive at your hotel and your room is not there. So they, they have in the meantime around 13,000 people. They are a popular employer. So if you, they, 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 they have thousands of applicants. They know roughly what the good, call center people are doing yeah and they know roughly also what the good uh, software developers are doing so when you go to the website of booking you go through a couple of tests uh, you have some uh, interviews uh, with, with uh, bots uh, uh, simulations uh, and then they decide whether or not, or not to hire you well this is not revolutionary but there's two elements here one they close the loop continuously and so they, they say there we predict that Tom would be a good call center person but it's not so our prediction was not wrong so the predictions become better all the time and they, they don't ask anymore for diplomas, uh, experience, history, uninteresting. They're only looking can you show the behavior that we'd like to see at this moment in time in the selection process. So no diplomas, no history, no CVs, uh, looking. This is going on uh, uh, everywhere. Uh, and, and of course, from different angles, I, I'll show a seed link is, is a very quite capable uh, organization uh, uh, doing it. Harvard uh, is doing that. Uh, the lady who was going to speak here, but she's ill, uh, but I, I, uh, you can see that that's her. Uh, they have a nice company, 12 Grapes. I, I'm interested in their story, but they do similar type of things. German, uh, German uh, uh, startup. And it's all called intelligent hire, AI-powered hiring. You see all the terms coming, uh, 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 coming back. Entello, uh, Impress, AI-powered candidate screening, our boss help screening. But it's all in the same domain. Yeah. So this is, you see there, many examples. Probably there's more. I like this, the hiring solved, yeah? This is uh, at least a good uh, uh, claim. Uh, well, nice yeah, nice name, hiring solved, yeah? Uh, this is German, ta ta talent wunder, yeah? you know them? Yeah. yeah, are they good? Yeah, yeah. they do, the, uh, basically, they, they also, and, and they, 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 they do not only the select, but they also do the sort, they say, we look everywhere. So don't bother, we look everywhere, and then we filter, I don't know whether, I've not worked with them. Uh, job rate was, uh, was mentioned this morning uh, with their J score, uh, are people going to leave? Uh, Mia, your team, well, I can. This is also interesting, Codility. In certain domains, you know quite well what good performance is. Unfortunately, in many domains, it's totally unclear. Yeah, take, um, I mean, uh, let's take the domain HR professionals, well, it's very difficult to define what is a good HR professional and what not. And so, but for coders, people writing code, that's a lot easier. So what Codility do, does and claims, I've not, I'm, I'm not a coder, but what you do to Codility, you give them code you have programmed, yes? Then they analyze it, they know how good you are, they also know in which type of coding teams you fit. And they say, well, because every coding team has a different styles and different ways of working. So they look at the way you code and then they match you with teams where your style would fit. So that, I think that's super powerful. They look at actual behavior and then they make the match. Yeah? Uh, Codility uh, is, is uh, uh, doing that. Sourced is another uh, party doing, uh, doing the same. Uh, 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 
as far as I understand it. Eh? So it's all what I understand uh, Brilliant is doing that. Then, um, well, we have talked about the bots. It's interesting that most of the bots have female names. Eh? They're all called uh, Karen, Olivia, uh, 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 but this is uh, Olivia. Uh, Syrah, I don't know whether that is a name. I think it's a name, Syrah, also an intelligent. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is more a gender neutral uh, bot, Yobo. <laughs> Yobo, but uh, it, it is, uh, I, I like Yobo, it's a friendly uh, a bot. Uh, and and what, is, what is interesting developments here that you, you see that the time of, of separate apps is, 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 is growing. And so there are still people making all, all kinds of apps, and ch but th that's going away. So now it's more about how can you integrate your solutions in existing platforms. Yeah? So uh, m most people in, in, in the world I work in, they use uh, uh, Slack as a communication tool within their teams. So you see many applications that say we are, you, you can use Slack for our application. But it's also WhatsApp, uh, and Facebook for recruitment, but now Google will enter that arena. So d separate apps going down, integration with existing uh, 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 platforms, uh, you see that uh, going. And Joe Boki is doing that. Karen, this is Xor, that's a little bit, bit more futuristic bot probably, uh, coming from another pli pla uh, planet. Uh, we've talked about facial uh, recognition, so in the selection area, I think that, that is really, I, I agree with uh, Joachim, this is super powerful, uh, also a little bit frightening uh, uh, development, but uh, uh, it's there, it's used, uh, and it gives powerful uh, feedback. You have seen the personality insights. I've done it, in fact, so I, uh, I didn't, to be, I didn't believe their claim, right? saying, well, we can make your big five personality profile based on your text. And I, I write a lot, and I spend, ha not half a day, but a couple of hours on it. I, I, I combine 10 blog posts and put it in the machine. I made one by one, but the, consist the picture was quite consistent and consistent with my traditional big five profile. So I did it traditionally with a questionnaire, 100 questions. Uh, but I, I, and if you read my blog posts, they are not uh, very personal in the sense I, there's nothing about me or my. Uh, it's just the way I, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I write. So it's possible. Then it's back to what I said earlier about the consumerization of HR. Uh, if you have applicants coming to your organization. And you say to them, well, part of our process is a test, and you give them the traditional test. They say, well, this is, uh, then I have to fill in everything. Why don't you do it in the easy way? And uh, so the expectations of people are also going in this uh, uh, direction, that you really use it. Uh, this one I, I like particularly also is, is Crystal. A crystal is a little plug-in. You, uh, uh, you can add it to your Gmail, you can add it to your uh, LinkedIn. It gives you advice on what the best possible way is to approach people. So if you want to write me an email, Crystal says, well, this is Tom's profile. This is the, and Tom, Tom likes it short. You can be direct, uh, uh, whatever, so, so don't, don't be too shy. So it gives you advice. It's not perfect. To be honest, it's, 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 it's far from perfect maybe at this moment, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, but I like what, so it's a little bit back to the horoscope uh, thing because it, uh, Crystal is very positive about me. So, uh, uh, is a natural supporter, friendly, compassionate, loyal, and finds comfort in groups of particular people at all. It's, it's true, yeah. Uh, but Chris, I like, the, the, the AIDS, eh? helping people to do their work better, Crystal is a good example because it's doing it already today. This one was mentioned. Uh, gamification, but gathering information in a, in a nice way is also uh, uh, with the help of, this is uh, the wasabi waiter of uh, uh, NAC, K-N-A-C-K, quite a reliable instrument uh, uh, and they gather tons of data based on, on how people perform on the wasabi waiter or the cosmic cadet is another one, it's not from NAC, from another provider. So, 
this was the area a little bit but all about sourcing how do we find candidates how do we select candidates uh, big domain many initiatives there many develop lots of work to be done but i'm convinced that uh, 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 it will bring us a lot eh? more diverse candidates better candidate selection uh, 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 and uh, also a little bit more fun probably also especially for the applicants uh, because the traditional interviews are not necessary anymore now, the second area is, is more about pro productivity learning I tried to find some examples there one I like particularly is Yonko and I think Yonko is, is a signal of a trend that will be coming that's that is monitoring what people are doing at their work learning about how people are behaving and then giving them advice on how they can improve and there are things available uh, Yonko is one uh, Yonko is specifically for uh, uh, people in, in who, who distribute work managers uh, you could call the manager they distribute work so let's say I'm your manager and uh, uh, after a while Yonko says Tom oh, sorry uh, Tom uh, you are giving all what's your name Lisa you, you give all the nice jobs to Lisa eh? uh, but uh, here's Bob I, 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 you know Bob but Martin Martin, yeah. yes. Martin Martin is as capable as Lisa Lisa has all your jobs Martin is uh, here why don't you give the jobs to Martin so it starts giving me advice on job distribution on equality so it's, it's sold as a diversity instrument but it helps me to be do my job that so it's it's a first example uh, not the first example but the, but the first example I tell you here I think I have another uh, 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 so, so so this is young code yeah rescue time is another one uh, you install rescue time on your computer and uh, it, it basically monitors your uh, your online behavior and after a while it says Tom what we see here and uh, you go 10 times per day to your email that's not very uh, maybe you can limit it to two times one time at the end of the, those start with this end of the morning uh, that's that's best practice just two times per day end of the morning end of the day don't spoil your day with all the email. so this is an or your search activity is so haphazard yeah you do this you do this uh, you can do it in a more structured way by you so it gives you tips it helps you to increase your so learning this is a kind of real-time learning based on my behavior so not based on assumptions on how uh, uh, people behave but on my behavior I get tips how to do better uh, effective signals uh, it's also and, and, and Nichols was going to be here but he's not here but, but uh, that's an interesting company because they uh, use a combination of the facial recognition but also in, in the learning domain yeah they, they monitor people also but monitor people really how, how they behave facial wise and, and, and gesture wise and then give them tips on how they can improve their behavior for example I, I followed a, 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 a demo course uh, and it was on negotiations and I think potentially super powerful and the, the observing the real behavior of people and helping them to become better uh, important that uh, you also see it a little bit uh, more down to earth like uh, this is butterfly your personal management that's more a bot an intelligent bot uh, you can ask questions uh, I have to do this uh, can you help me can you give me some tips uh, uh, and, and on, a, on a even more down to earth it's it's uh, artificial intelligence assistance so this is uh, I don't know what what she mimetic uh, but uh, uh, I looked at this one XI that's, that's, that's a secretary an assistant uh, you hire her and she arranges all your meetings and, and things like that uh, uh, well I didn't use it because it cost money in the end so uh, uh, so I said well uh, but I would and their marketing trick was also that you had to be on the waiting list for months to say yeah you're number 150 on the waiting list we are so popular uh, but uh, uh, tools that, that help you to work better so in the domain of productivity learning I think there is 
less what I see, but potentially many opportunities to make most of the learning still is very disconnected. It's many of the learning is still offline. And uh, by technology, observing the behavior of people, connecting it to what top performers do, uh, that's it. Operations, well, uh, th there it's clear, and uh, 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 the bots, but also the use of bots in, uh, in for example, HR service centers, HR, uh, 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 th that helps a lot, 24 seven, you're helped by Amelia. Uh, this is uh, in, in the teaching arena, uh, where in, in an artificial intelligence course, there was an, a, a, a TA, is a teaching assistant, uh, there was a teaching assistant and she they didn't tell it was a bot and only after the core the program they told it but apparently she did very well and she helped the students she could ask questions uh, also questions simple and many professors get questions like uh, what's the next time that we meet so that that's relatively simple but uh, but also content wise so bots also as teaching assistants uh, help desk uh, Apparently, this is one of the, 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 the uh, this is Sergeant Starr, and I, I, he is apparently very famous in the U.S. because he's the, he's used by the American uh, Army as their bot. And you can, you can get Sergeant Starr posters, etc. So, uh, and he's already existing, but uh, he's very successful. Uh, ask any question to, uh, well, Sergeant, Sergeant Starr. <laughs> Look it up. Uh, this is uh, enterprise behavioral matching. That's a little bit different. It's not bots, but it's software that is specifically for call centers that helps to make the best match between a caller and uh, uh, the, 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 the people in the call center. Yeah? So I call, let's say I call for the 10th time. Software says, okay, complainer. Yeah? Uh, we go to the most, uh, most experienced person in, in, in the call center or someone who who is a little bit slow, eh? uh, may, maybe uh, uh, an older person, let's do the, uh, the most patient person. So it instantly match, it makes my life better as a customer and it makes your life in the call center better because you get more interest, eh? you get better fit uh, uh, with the people who, uh, who this is used a lot. Uh, I don't know the provider, I think uh, I don't have it here anymore. Uh, and this is uh, the bots, Today, most of the bots don't speak, eh? because still that's not very, uh, they still speak in, in the way they spoke uh, in Fred Flintstone. Uh, 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 hello, this is, uh, eh? but, but uh, today uh, the software is going very quickly and, and you, I'm sure you have read it. There's now software, if you load it with your voice, it can imitate your voice more or less instantly. So it can start to make new phrases and you cannot record, it's, it's also frightening because you, you can let people, you can, uh, people can say things they have never said. But uh, for a call center, it, it, it's useful uh, material. This, this one you saw, I, I did it myself. So I was very happy that, that I was 51. <laughs> Plus or minus 13, so it's... Uh, <laughs> but I was happy as well. So the, but, uh, uh, and this is also, also going to be used as some type of real-time mood measurement. So you enter the organization in the morning, you better smile, otherwise... Uh, <laughs> instant feedback. Instant, <laughs> uh, this was the domain... And, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Probably, uh, the whole bot area, yeah, operations. I had to put it somewhere, operations. And the operations also, this is also co uh, entrance control. So just saying, hey, it's Tom. Uh, they will do it at the airport qu quite quickly. Don't you don't need passports anymore? That you, uh, you, they know who you are. I know it is a Yeah. Yeah. So this I already had, and people expect at work the the the, the, the same type of experience they have at home. And still in the work, most of the workplaces I go to, that is not the reality. It's better at home than at work. And for example, Netflix, uh, and you, uh, uh, who of you is on Netflix? Probably most of you. Uh, it knows quite well what you like and what you don't like. 
Uh, I've not seen many organizations that provide you with a kind of Netflix to say, hey Tom, you like this type of jobs, maybe you like this as well. And it's always a very complicated process. 95%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Tinder, well, uh, let's not go into uh, Tinder, this I already have uh, said. This is interesting also, uh, I, I like uh, Wait and Wendy. Have you heard about Wait and Wendy? It's powered by Ronstadt. So they are developing new business. Ronstadt is in the, in, uh, 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 in the end, it's an obsolete business, intermediary, a little bit farther ahead. So they're looking for new. And this is, Wait is your personal career guide. And Wendy uh, can, is your hiring assistant. And uh, so you can start chatting with Wait. Uh, and he helps you a little bit with career advice. Unfortunately, also Wait and Wendy uh, I have a waiting list, so I'm I'm in uh, I'm in batch 21 on the waiting list. But uh, I heard it is quite good, so try it. Come on the waiting list and uh, try wait and when. But I, I put it here in the talent. So having some talent advice, eh, uh, I'm in, it's interesting to see how it will work. Uh, but it, it, yeah, I think uh, the potential is there. Uh, <coughs> what? No, yeah. no, but 12th grade is good. I think I mentioned it before. I wanted to please the, the, the lady who came after me, but she's not here. So, uh, but uh, uh, and another, the, the whole area of making, of team composition. How do we make winning team? And you see that that's more and more important. So most of the uh, most of the HR instruments of today are still very individual based. Also, uh, recruitment select, but the whole area of how do we create teams that are a success, that is very interesting. And there are 12 grades is working on that. Uh, there's another one, uh, Teamily, uh, part up. There are other ones working on that. It's still underdeveloped, big potential. Uh, and then you can start feeding uh, the, uh, the machine with the. This was also mentioned the sound. I, I, uh, it's, it's all. It's, it's a little bit dubious, uh, it, it's not so much personality profile I was alluding to, but it's more, for, it's used for mood measurement as well. Uh, if you would have microphones in this room, then after you know what the mood is in this room. Yeah, good, bad, uh, uh, positive. So, so you only need the sound, mood measurement, but uh, there are people who say we can also claim, they claim that that they based on so that's more connected to the the personality profiling Johan mentioned that based on sound they can detect uh, talent. I don't know whether they can do it in a room like this, uh, but it's an interesting, a little bit frightening uh, uh, development. Well, change management. Uh, this is about what I see. There is a lot about monitoring how people really m move, and this is. Uh, uh, am I okay with time? A little bit, five minutes. Oh yeah, that's fine. I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, so there are, are several devices that, that in your batch, they track what you are doing. Hitachi is doing that, Humanize is doing that. There's a very nice case study of Humanize on, uh, you can find it uh, online. It's about the uh, new BCG office in uh, New York. So they, they were uh, going into a new office before that they gave everybody the, the humanized badge and they tracked them for a couple of I think a couple of months how they are behaving so they say how are they behaving today who is connecting to whom who are the isolated groups they looked at it analyzed it and then they used that to design the new building also looking at what do we want how are people actually behaving and how do we design the, the building in such a way that, for example, silos get more together or people really, we want to connect more. Very interesting, Humanize is a, is a successful uh, uh, company uh, doing that. Uh, Blue Vision is another one with badges. Uh, this is software, I, I forgot to, to, to know the name, but they, they, you don't have to give badges, but they, they just film you and then they can track you as an individual yeah, uh, uh, how you are moving uh, through the office or through the airport. So the, 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 the tools are uh, there. I, I uh, also found Feriato. Feriato. 
and it was interesting because I, I thought they were also in the area of what I said, we monitor the behavior of people online and then give them advice on how to improve their productivity. So I did a little test and then the guy, next, uh, next day the guy phoned me, <coughs> he thought I wasn't a potential client. But they, that's ba that was basically more spying software. So then you install it on the computers of your employees and then you can see whether they, whether, which websites they visit. And uh, this is Victoria Online in their example. So I think it was a stupid, uh, stupid. So it's an old fashioned spy product to, to, uh, to and, and the guy, in the end, he didn't like that I called it spy software. But Org Mapper is another one. It's, it, this is a very good one, Org Mapper, uh, using to, to build network. So uh, this was the area. And so you see new tools that you can use, office design, change management, who is connecting to whom. In the comp and ban area, uh, rewards, you don't see so many developments, I would say. Uh, uh, one of the developments I see is, is really looking better into what pe uh, the preferences of people. So there are tools, marketing type of tools, nothing revolutionary. But if you know the preference of people, you can tailor your packages better to what people, uh, I, I skip that. Uh, but also uh, using the data, finding out what, what do people earn, what should people earn, and then building data around that and making it better and better and better. That is uh, going quite fast at this moment. Uh, so companies like Paystale, uh, Pesa, they are gathering worldwide data about what people earn. And as a company, uh, you, you can find relevant data there without involving uh, companies like Hay and others where you have to pay a lot of money. Uh, but as an individual, reckon most of your potential recruits go there. You say, well, what, what's my worst? Is it perfect? Not yet. Uh, but it's getting better and better every uh, day. Uh, you, the, pack, the pack will be available uh, on, on slides share uh, tonight, data. Of course, in the measurement, uh, the measurement area, again, bots. This is, an, I like this one, Vita IO. Uh, it's just a, a simple bot that asks you, uh, are you excited about going to work every day? And then, for sure, not really. And then starts a conversation with you. Is it artificial? Yes. Uh, but as we discussed, there's not man there are many managers that, that, that don't ask that question. So maybe it's better if the bot asks it. Uh, workometry is another one. Uh, Peachy Mondays I like as well. It's called Peachy Mondays. They do a kind of, of clever interactive employee survey. So instead of giving everybody, <laughs> I'm uh, so instead of ev asking everyone the same questions, this this software uh, 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 asks questions: are, are you happy today? You say yes. Then then at the end, eh? if you say no, it starts more questions, and it it, it really uh, 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 learns how to distract relevant information out of the people in your organization. It's, it's fine. So this was the, the, the sunny side, I would say. For me, it's the sunny side. And there are many opportunities. Uh, we see most of them still in the sourcing and selection domain, but they are getting into other areas. I'm specifically also very interested in the productivity uh, area. How can we, and learning, very much connected. The dark side, of course, there are dark sides. Uh, it's about, it's a replication partly. It was already mentioned. Uh, 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 it, it's not totally, and also there's bias in, in, the, in the instruments. So uh, uh, if, the, if it learns and it learns from white males, uh, then the, the, the software also becomes racist. Uh, and we don't know, and, and uh, Joachim said it earlier, we don't know sometimes what is exactly in the machine, so uh, it can be manipulated as well. Uh, so you see these type of uh, a beauty contest, and, and a, 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 a machine did a beauty contest, and it didn't like dark skin. And so how come? And uh, um, 
What will happen when algorithms go wrong? Recent article, April 10, Harvard Business Review. So one is the, the bias, the, 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 and even worse than bias is conscious bias, Consci and that, that the machine is programmed with bias. Uh, the other one is the bubble. Uh, we discussed it already this morning. So the danger that it creates a bubble, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I like what Netflix advises me. Uh, and I'm still there, I can still do other things. Uh, this is really a dark side of, uh, uh, and in, in, in China they, they, they are implementing the social credits co uh, uh, code. So I think by the end of 2020, every Chinese citizen will have a number which kind of denotes how good a citizen are you. Yeah, between zero and 100. And it, so it gathers all the data, and it, in the end, it gives you a social credit code. And if your social credit co code is too low, well, you have a problem. You don't get jobs, your children cannot go to university, uh, uh, you might. So this is really, I would say, the dark side. But it's, it's hap this is not fake, this is happening. Yeah? Social code, there's a, even a gamification element in it. Huh? So. Uh, Frightening, it's the dark side. So what, uh, this is a book I can recommend if you have not already uh, read it. Uh, this is about the future of, of mankind. Uh, very, uh, so my last slide, conclusions so far for me. And that's the start. So <coughs> on the green side, yes, uh, all the things you can read there, uh, especially better performance, better quality, higher speed, less uh, bias, more diversity. On the other side, uh, the dark side, the bias, the bubble, the privacy element. And also, what we did not discuss at all, in the end, there is going to be less work. So, not for now, but in the end, there's going to be less work. And that's a, that's a big issue. And what will all those people do uh, that, that uh, are doing all kind of jobs today that are not uh, uh, necessary. So uh, I, I realize I bombarded you with all kinds of uh, things. Well, uh, I ten minutes what? Yeah. <laughs> and this is only the top of the iceberg. Yeah. Uh, you can find more on my website. I'm on Twitter. I have a nice Flipboard magazine, The Future of HR, on Pinterest, if you, if you can't read. Uh, I like the pic. So, there, th but the times for me are super exciting. There are many opportunities, but and it will make our life also as HR professionals. I would say in the end a lot. We can do our jobs a lot better, and uh, uh, I think that is uh, good news. So I open the floor for questions if, yeah. if there's still time. Yeah, I would say uh, maybe three or four questions. Uh, Maya, as well. Um. It's working, okay. Thank you very much, first of all, for all the um, um, examples uh, of tools. It was really interesting. Um, I'm asking myself uh, if you could give us an example how it could uh, look like um, if you implement it in a, in a company, how it could be embedded uh, within, um, within the programs or processes uh, which companies already have. Because I think without uh, Offline, you can't only have the tools. So um, the interaction or the combination of um, the tools with uh, with offline <laughs> life uh, that would be really interesting uh, for me to know. Yeah, and that's a, that's a super big question. So I, I, uh, <coughs> I, I will say two things about it. One, there is. Uh, the, the companies that are in biggest trouble are the big old-fashioned old organizations and they they are they know there's something out there and they have to adapt and, 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 and then they are but they don't know how and and then there is HR in those organizations and and, and they don't and they, they, they also don't know how so those organizations are struggling especially because they still of often are looking for the type of ultimate, they like ultimate solutions. Yeah, they say, well, yeah, what are we going to do? And, and we, want the, we want one solution for everybody. And all. So, but that is not, 
that's not, that's not the same. So it. So exp if you want to use those type of things in the real world, th the best thing is to start experiment, small, and use it with people who who, uh, uh, who like it. Uh, don't don't aim for one size fits all. Don't aim for totality. Don't aim for the ultimate solution because today it is this, but the landscape is 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 rapidly changing all the time. Eh? Two years ago we saw apps. It's all about apps. It's all about apps. But apps. It's not about apps anymore. Yeah? So, so, but there are still people here who say, oh, we need an app, we need an app, and then we're going to develop an app. And, uh, uh, and stupid, some stupid people are even developing their own apps. Yeah? Especially in, in bigger organizations, people say, oh, we, can, we need something specific for our organization. So, so it's, it's going rapidly, but being on top of it, being outside a lot. So that's inter being out don't be too internally focused, outside, experiment, uh, and, and use the things. Uh, there, where it makes sense. So that's the. Uh, it, yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't make sense to, to, to use things that. So, so use use it there, and that's why uh, use it there where where your issues are most urgent. Right. And 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 then. Then it's using all the tools. No, but I for every what. Yeah, but in the recruitment area, for example, many organizations are using that. Uh, the the Harvards, uh, uh, the, 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 the gamified selection, they are used by the shells and the, and, uh, and the bigger companies are using those. The, the uh, 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 let's say, uh, on online testing is used a lot. The uh, productivity tools a little bit less, but chatbots are used everywhere. Yeah? So, uh, uh, th th there's many examples to find, but not companies that are using everything everywhere. But uh, that would not make sense either. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid my my question may be a bit philosophical, but still the okay. the whole topic is um, a bit philosophical. Yeah. And um, well, the last point on your last slide, less work. I yeah. don't agree um, um, really because I think it's precisely work for less. It's not less work. It's work for less. And um, this causes a, um, a philosophical question for yeah. me because I have the impression we should urgently think about the, the question how we all could profit from uh, artificial intelligence. And um, well, I, I'd be interesting, uh, interested on your opinion on how uh, on this on this topic on this question because well, um, the companies or some some people or some companies are profiting. We all are not. We are, we don't have less work, we have more work. Uh, answers come from here. I, I would like to sustain this question and uh, I, I would uh, and ask, uh, when did we ever profit from, when did we ever have less work? When we have, te uh, when we have touching technological change, when, when did it re uh, result in less work? Well, uh, uh, the question is, who is we? Huh? And so that's one of the answers is we as... We, the people, the working people. Uh, yeah, we the elite. Eh? We, the elite who is, has working and who is working with all these fancy things. But uh, there's many people who cannot even grasp what the new ways of working are. So that, there is, uh, and there is also data-wise, yeah, there is evidence that the amount of work percentage is decreasing. So it's not there's not more work, there's not more work, it's decreasing. Work is taken over by um, the philosophical question is uh, how can we and, and I'm not I, I'm more an observer than uh, than uh, uh, so it's all this is all opinions and I'm that's that, that's that's <laughs> and my opinions as such are not so interesting. You understand? Because I can say and there's people who say this and there's people who say that. I'm on the optimist side. I, I'm a little bit. It will solve itself. There will be other things. Yeah. And probably uh, Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian. And probably just to add one point that uh, probably less work doesn't necessarily mean less jobs. Probably there's a shift that we have the same number of jobs but only less work to do. Yeah, or that I don't think. The way. Yeah, there is. But, but it's it's a long discussion. But there, the jobs that are disappearing are replaced by other jobs, but not as many. 
that's the reality. And a robot, let's say, robot uh, repairman. Yeah? Well, there will be some robots repairmen, but not, not well. And the truckers, truckers, truck drivers, they become obsolete. Uh, hundreds, uh, 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 but, uh, if you look where people work today, it's, it's in transport, many people in retail, uh, still there will be many people in retail, but retail is going down and down and down, uh, 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 less people in the case. So, uh, healthcare, yes, that's an area where uh, still uh, 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 many people are working uh, and the predictions are that, that but even healthcare, uh, uh, so th th there will be no jobs. Uh, but less. 